Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Today I wanted to share with you some items you want to make sure that you stockpile. You may have forgotten a lot of these items or not thought about them or realized that you even need them. Have you ever been out for the day and you wish you had something? You went on a trip, you were missing something, you took your kids out in a crowd and maybe you had a hard time keeping your eye on them. Things fall apart, things get lost, things get broken. And there are all kinds of situations when small items can really save the day. It doesn't have to be an apocalypse for you to want to stockpile some of these items. It can just be a minor inconvenience that sets your day off wrong at the beginning or something that you wish you had would change completely the outcome of a trip or a day when maybe the power goes out. So the first thing you want to think about are small kits for repairing things. We always have things fall apart, break, get lost, and we need to fix it and get about our business. So think about small repair kits. I can find a lot of these at the Dollar Tree. Sewing kits, dental repair kits for loose filling, eyeglass repair kits manicure kit. A hangnail or a torn fingernail can seem like an emergency in some situations and a little kit like this from the Dollar Tree can solve your problem right away. There are also little tool kits you can look for. Small kinds of wrenches, little screwdriver sets. I picked almost all of these items up for a dollar and you can get them for a few dollars other places as well or put together some things on your own. Think about small kits that can solve problems and those are the type of items you want to make sure that you have with your emergency supplies. Next think about some unusual items that can help smooth your life for an outdoor setting. Make sure you have several pairs of sturdy work gloves. Good quality, they don't have to be expensive, but I've picked up gloves at the Dollar Tree before and they were totally worthless. The plastic part on them completely disintegrated and they weren't worth the dollar. So some items you need to spend a little more to make sure you get the items that you want. Get some that are sturdy, flexible, and I like the ones with the coated palms. They last longer. The fingers are stronger. They help protect you from all kinds of stickers, thorns, rocks, and dirt. Have a few hand tools so that you can take care of any little business you need, including business if the water goes out and maybe you need to dig a little hole behind a bush. You can never have too much duct tape. I like to stock up on a hose repair kit. If your hose springs a leak or the end comes off, there are repair kits that you can cut off the end of your hose or cut off the middle where there's a leak, push in a connector and then screw down uh, clamps that hold that connector together can give you a new end or fix a hole in your hose. Hoses get leaks and breaks in the most inopportune times, so keeping a few of these inexpensive items on hand can really make your day be better. A clothesline and some clothes pins. If you're power goes out or your clothes are wet, you can hang them up, dry them out, and then you've solved that problem. Zip ties are a great item to stockpile. They come in all kinds of colors, all kinds of sizes. They can fix all kinds of things. Some of them are sturdier than others, but you can always use a couple of them if you don't have the strongest one that you need. Stock up on zip ties for the handy solutions they can be for a lot of problems. Whether it's warm weather, there's too much moisture in the ground, after a storm, there might be problems with bugs and rodents. Start with something as simple as a fly swatter, a few cans of bug killer. One of the problems with stockpiling is I bought a few extras and I had them in the garage and didn't use them for a few years. And some of them are just fine but other ones they seem like they're empty and I haven't used them. So don't stockpile so many that you wouldn't reasonably be able to use them. You want to make sure that you're getting the most for your money for your emergency supplies. When there's things like storms, forest fires, even a turn of cold weather, uh, rats and mice can be a problem. Getting into your house, into your sheds, things like that. Get some traps, there's a whole variety. You can pick them up at the hardware store and even at the Dollar Tree. 
They're simple to use, they're very effective, and it just depends on the type that you want to use. If you do decide to use a poison bait, make sure it's in some kind of a container. Only the rodents can get into so that you don't end up accidentally poisoning children or pets. Put it in a safe place so that you're just targeting the critters that you're trying to get rid of. Along with bug repellent, get some sunscreen. Even in the winter time, if we end up spending more time out of doors, the sun is shining, even in the snow, it can reflect and give you a sunburn. Have sunscreen to protect skin from burns. Stock up on manual can openers. It's usually pick up manual can openers at thrift stores and yard sales for less than a dollar. You can find all different kinds. Some of them are really interesting and they can be a big help. Manual can openers go a long way in helping you open your can and package stored foods. Stock up on matches and lighters. I just got one of these buckets from the grocery store, from the bakery. Keep your matches dry and they're gonna last and last. In a prolonged emergency, being able to start a fire, light a candle, or heat something up on a stove can be essential and you might have a lot of problems trying to do that if you don't have a good supply of matches or lighters. Have a sturdy pot or pan for cooking outside on a fire or even your barbecue grill. Most of the pots and pans that we have in our kitchen are not designed for outdoor cooking over an open flame. Get something sturdy and store it with your emergency supplies. An unusual item to stockpile is flagging tape. This stuff is great if you are out hiking around. You can mark a trail so you're not lost. I've used it in crowds. I take a piece, tie it on my kid's backpack on the little strap so I can spot them. I put it through the ponytail on girls and then I could go out even with 10 kids and a few adults and we could easily keep track of each other just by a little piece of flagging. You can also put it on your suitcase when you travel so you can spot it when it's going around on the luggage carousel. I found some 10 times magnifying mirrors at the Dollar Tree for a dollar of course and they're great to put away in your camping gear, your emergency gear. You can check out how you look if you care and they're also great for signaling. When I traveled places like Africa where they, people don't really have anything, I took a pile of these, passed them out to the girls and they loved them. So if you ever are going to find yourself living without very many things, a mirror might be something extra you'd like to have too. Go over a list of unusual items. Make sure that you're stockpiling the things that you need for any situation. There's a lot of things that can happen. Stockpile some items, think creatively on how you could use them, and then when you find yourself with a challenge, look over the things you have and probably you'll be able to come up with a solution to anything that comes your way. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.